are you asking me, is there evidence that the apostles did not write the New Testament? Well, yeah, because the writers of the Christian Bible don't claim to be disciples. They certainly would have been. It, the, um, the author of the book of Acts is very plain in saying that Peter and John were absolutely completely illiterate in chapter 4, verse 13. The, the, the Christian, the, the, the gospel, the Greek, is exquisite. I mean, th this is not just people who could, um, who could just write. These are people who really were good writers, I mean, highly literate. These were not Galilean Jews who wrote the Christian Bible. The, um, there are, the, the book of Luke is, is by far, its Greek is, is, is the best, the most exquisite. Um, so no, Galilean Jews would have not written this, but there is no evidence for it at all. In fact, there's evidence to the contrary because, um, well, first of all, the claim is that the claim is only that Matthew and John were written by the disciples after whom they are named. Um, and Mark was a, uh, an assistant of Peter who would write that down. And that uh, Luke was a companion of, of Paul. Now, where does that come from? Well, it comes from Papias. He was a, a church father, a bishop in what is today um, what would be, let's see, it's Asia Minor, it's Turkey. Um, we actually don't have anything, of nothing that he wrote survives. Nothing. Uh, he's, what we have of this Christian is just quotes of him by later church fathers. The most important church father was Eusebius who writes who quotes Papias, but we have nothing that Papias wrote. And he says that Uranius, who was the French bishop in the year 180 from Lyon, relied on Papias in order to say that Matthew wrote Matthew and so on and so forth. Papias is wrong on so many things, but in every account that it, it's, it's really astonishing. Uh, Papias is claiming the, that the book of Matthew the Gospel of Matthew was, he actually doesn't call it a Gospel, he calls it the sayings of Matthew, uh, uh, written in Hebrew, and they're just sayings of Matthew, sayings, that's what you find in Matthew. And we know that the book of Matthew is far more than just sayings of Jesus, so it's, he's almost certain, and he's saying, he didn't hear it directly from Matthew, but he heard it, like, fourth hand. Uh, so therefore, um, the people who the church depends on to say who wrote what, is actually based on Eusebius, who's writing his history of the church in 324, okay? Telling us, and by the way, Eusebius, in not so many words, calls Papias an idiot. Um, uh, the problem of, of the Gospels being, well, he called them small-minded. The, the book of John is explicit, the author, whoever wrote it, is explicit that he, he's saying he's not John. You'll find that in John 21, 20, where the writer, whoever he is, is saying that he got this from the disciple whom Jesus loved, which would be John. So he, he is saying, I'm not him. Okay? This is, now, this is not a problem for Roman Catholics, because Roman Catholics believe that the traditions of the church are authoritative and equal. But the Protestants, how do they know that Matthew wrote Matthew? It only is through a very Roman Catholic tradition. And as I say, we don't, the person who makes this assertion, we have nothing of what he wrote. We only have, you got it? So we have Eusebius in 324 saying that Papias said these things, degrading him for making an enormous amount of mistakes. All, that's why Papias is not considered very credible by, by Christians uh, on so many issues. I mean, he got it wrong on what, what's in the book of John and so on. Um, and he's saying that actually Uranius relied on Papias, but we actually don't have. I know this sounds so convoluted, you're going, is that really true? Is, is he? Yes, <laughs> it is. And what I always say to the audience is look it up for yourself. Just, I don't know, look at any, what I'm telling you verbatim is, is exactly the way it is. We, we have zero, we have nothing. 
Uh, that's why the, but how did the book of John, which we know was written about 95, how was it written by John, the son of Zebedee? How would that be? That would be the disciple John as opposed to all other Johns. And that is, as a Christian church, okay, John lived to like 95 years old, so he could have written that.